an IT expert, national award winner, psychologist, adventure player and a paraglider, meet Divyanshu Ganatra who despite being visually impaired has achieved success in all things. He works as an inspiration for people with disabilities all over the world. NNIA speaks to this Indian solo paraglider on his glorious journey. Well, my, my amazing journey actually started at the age of 19 when I went blind. And uh, that's when the, the most beautiful ride has begun and it's been about 20 years now. And um, I've had uh, interesting experiences where the world has told me this is not possible. You've gone blind, you've got to accept your disability to actually going ahead and doing things that the world thought impossible. And um, not to prove anything to the world, but rather to just prove that to myself because I love doing it and I continue to. I've been in adventure sports, I've been in IT, I'm um, a cognitive neuroscientist, so I work with leadership, executive leadership in corporates. So, so far that's been the journey and the past three years has been phenomenal with the starting of Adventures Beyond Barriers Foundation where we promote adventure sports for persons with disability and able-bodied people together to come and do outdoor sports, mainly with the objective of playing together, because when we play together, you can discover so much about each other, and that helps build empathy and social change. His childhood dream of flying grew stronger with time. Society and disability presented many challenges, but it was Divyanshu's strong will that helped him live his dream of flying in the air. I think we all love to fly and that's, that's a dream that we all carry as children. But as we grow up, the world tells you, um, you can't do this, uh, or the world tells you, this is impossible, or then you say to the world, I got married. <laughs> so for me, that dream never went away. Blindness was something that happened along the way. But just because blindness happened didn't mean that I couldn't stop dreaming or believing that I could fly one day. It took me seven years to find an instructor who would teach me how to fly. And I, when I met my instructor, Avi Malik, and um, it took me seven years to find him, but it took me four days to learn how to fly. You've been a great model. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. When asked about the change of society's mentality, he said, not just w the, the, the mentality of society doesn't change with just one person doing it because then they write that person off as an exception. So when I do it, they look at me as an inspiration or exception. But imagine if tomorrow thousands of blind people start flying, then that would become a norm. And our endeavor is that more and more people do this because it's possible and that becomes a norm, that becomes a part of society's narrative. So we need hundreds of more people to do this. When superstar Amitabh Bachchan spoke about him, this is how Divyanshu felt. So when, when people like Amitabh Bachchan or people who are influential acknowledge, endorse or speak about our work, that helps in reaching out to millions of people. So for me, it is most important from that perspective that people who other people look up to as role models, when they come experience and endorse, that helps bring about change in a faster way. That helps as a catalyst in social change. Talking on the journey from Manali to Khardungla, Divyanshu said that this is a lesser chance of cycling and a better chance of finding and finding yourself. Um, my journey, cycling journey from Manali to Khardungla has been three times now and uh, it's incredible each time. Uh, it's tough, it's grueling, at the same time it is a, it becomes less of cycling and more about discovering yourself. And we always have other people, we have other persons with disability, we have able-bodied people 
So it becomes about personal stories, it becomes about inclusion, it becomes about perspectives on life and very little about cycling. So it's, it's an endeavor in really pushing ourselves, doing what is considered impossible. A lot of people who come and cycle with us on this route have never, are not pro cyclists, have probably taken up cycling just three or four months ago. And they all do it. My dream and dream what I believe is we want to make India inclusive. We want to do that through the power of play to make the first of its kind accessible sports center where people with all kinds of disabilities can come and participate as equals alongside able-bodied people.